G'day everyone, I'm Pat from Voodoo Collectibles. Hope you've been well, let's get into today's video. And it is another tips and rips. It is the preliminary finals week. Whoo, we're down to the final four. It's going to be uh, very two very intense games this week, that's for sure. All right, like always, let's start with the tips. And uh, uh, my tips last week were absolutely woeful. <laughs> I got both wrong. Um, I hope you picked uh, opposite from what I did and got them both right because, uh, yeah, I, I didn't tip a win at all. So, uh, saying that, let's get into this week's games and uh, see if we can actually get one tip right this week. <laughs> Alright, so starting off uh, on Friday night, well, at the SCG we have Sydney Swans versus Port Adelaide. Power! Oh, it's going to be a cracker. Now, Port obviously beat Hawthorne by, I think it was only about three points uh, last week. So they scrape by uh, and they get into a preliminary final. Um, saying that... I think their run might end this week. Swans at home, uh, a week's break, uh, get all those bruised bodies uh, fit and ready for this week. Uh, Port having a lot of injuries, and uh, uh, it felt like they they, they limped over the uh, over the uh, the finish line last week. So unfortunately, I think Port might end uh, their season might end it this week. I am going to go with the Swans. And they will go into the grand final. Uh, next, we have Geelong versus Brisbane Saturday night. Uh, sorry, is it Saturday afternoon? Twilight, I guess you could say? Uh, at the MCG. Um, obviously, that weird AFL rule where if it's uh, if there's only one game in Melbourne, it has to be played at the MCG, which is uh, mind-boggling. Like, it should be played at Geelong's home ground. But that's what they want, so that's what they get. Ah, so Brisbane, um, yeah, uh, they did a number on the GWS. Um, coming back from, what, 40 points down? <laughs> 44? It was a, it was a, an insane comeback. Uh, and it was at one point I was texting with a friend uh, during the game. I'm like, yep, that's it. Uh, GWS has kicked another goal. And I'm that's it. That's, that's the game over. And then... They just went to sleep and Brisbane just rolled, rolled them. So, saying that, can they beat Geelong in Melbourne? I say they cannot. Um, the last, well, I don't know how many games at the MCG, they cannot win. And uh, looking at some of the stats as well, um, they cannot beat Geelong either. So, um, it's a double whammy. And I do think it's going to be a repeat uh, of the uh, 2022 grand final of uh, Geelong in Sydney this time. Uh, I think Sydney will obviously be the highest ranked team, so it'll be Sydney versus Geelong this year. So I am going to go with the Cats this week. Ah, saying that, my tips last week were both wrong. We could have a Port and Brisbane final uh, to what was the 2004 grand final rematch. That'd be pretty entertaining as well. <laughs> so that are my two tips for this week. Uh, so Sydney will beat Port and Geelong will beat Brisbane. Um, who knows? Either way, it's going to be a cracking weekend, I reckon. All right, uh, on to another tip. It's not obviously going to be games, but this is going to be the Brownlow tip. Um, so Brownlow will be held on Monday night. Uh, obviously, put these videos up on Wednesday. So uh, by that time, we'll next week we'll already know who won the Brownlow. But I'm going to give my tips for this week for the Brownlow. So. Got a nice little uh, cutout sheet I created. <laughs> uh, most of the sites that uh, I've seen have all picked pretty much these uh, these players here as your as your top chances to win. Uh, we've got Paddy Croops from Carlton, Nick Dacos uh, from Collingwood, we've got Lockie Neal from Brisbane, Isaac Heaney from Sydney, uh, which has been rubbed out, so he won't be able to win, unfortunately, uh, if he does. Got Marcus Bodman Pelly from the Bulldogs, Caleb Saron from Frio, bit of a surprise there, and then Errol Gordon from Sydney as well. So, like I said, you can scrub Isaac Heaney, and I think you could also scrub Errol. I think um, Sydney have had a, obviously an amazing year. They've also got three really good players that take votes off each other. Uh, you got Isaac, Errol, and then you've got uh, Chad Warner. So, I think the Sydney players might have a, a 
hard time uh, picking the uh, the brown light this year. So I don't think they're going to win. Uh, Fremantle, they had an up and down year, and I don't think they had enough up where Caleb uh, Sarong was good enough to uh, poll lots of votes. So I'm not sure he can, he can win it. And same with Bont, the Bont. Uh, he had some really good weeks, uh, but then he had some really quiet weeks as well. Um, so I don't think he will uh, poll either. So it pretty much leaves the top three there, which is everyone, all the sites I've seen pretty much say the same. Crips, Dacos, and Neil. Uh, to be honest, I think, I think, yeah, he's going to be Dacos. Like, let's be honest, I think the AFL <laughs> is going to do everything that they possibly can to get Dacos the uh, the Brownlow this year. He's the poster child. He is the uh, he can't he can't do anything wrong, even when he's doing absolutely woeful on the field. Like, yeah, uh, but he is obviously, I think, going to be the number one. I think he will win. Saying that, who's going to finish second and third? Like, I didn't really think Paddy Cripps had a really good year. And, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he seems to vote very well, obviously being the main man from Carlton. But the same with Lockie Neal. But I'm going to go Lockie Neal, number two. And then Paddy Cripps at number three. So, in the end, who, who knows? I'm, I'm not a Phoenix, but that's just my guesses. But, what I guess, leave in the comments down below... Who do you think your top three is going to be for the Brownlow? Uh, so there we go. All right. They are the tips for the, uh, the, the preliminary final and my Brownlow tips. So let's get into some pack opening, like always. Uh, we've got a fair bit of packs this week as well. Um, I always love a pack opening. And uh, got to finish off the video with some style. So starting off, we've got a couple of silvers. Uh, we do have a Noah Anderson, uh, best defense. I believe I got this one before. <laughs> and, and then we have a uh, Ben Keys in the, the Scanlans. Move that to the side. Oh, yeah, I can have like, two of these ones. Noah Anderson. Of all the ones I could get, I keep getting him. <laughs> all right, we've got Luke Parker, Max King. Uh, we've got another best nefarious. Brisbane Lions, Harris Andrews. And then a John Newcomb from the Hawks, who went down bravely in the end. They did everything right except kick those last few goals with the posts, and they could have beaten in the final this week. All right, we have, oh, nice, very nice. A Dan, Dane Rampy, darn Rampy. Uh, we've got a Sydney pack, an Isaac Heaney. Oh, I can't get the names out now. <laughs> Dane Rampy, Isaac Heaney. I do love the gold. It's a very, a very nice looking card. It's got a nice little, uh, I guess, circular pattern to it. All right, let's see what this pack holds. All right, Nat Fife and a Charlie Kerno. We've got Star Powers underneath that. We've got ourselves Scott Penderbury. And then the Bonts underneath that. So we've got some big, I got some big players in the, uh, the Scanlans. And then the bond there as well. All right, this is the last pack of Team Coach. And we get into some footy stars. Uh, another Scott Pendlebury. So a double Pendlebury for Collingwood. Tom Patley. Or he's going to have a big game this week. Oh, we've got a Dustin Martin Majestic. Number three. And then underneath that, we've got a Josh Dunkley in the Brisbane Lions. Um, he's going to have to have another massive week this week as well uh, if Brisbane are going to get over the line, that is for sure. So there we go. That was our five packs of uh, Team Coach. Let's open up some Footy Stars packs now. All right. Get up the right way so I can open it properly. Oh, that one opened very nice. Uh, let's see if we can get some big hits this week. All right, starting off, we have a Future Force, Quainor, for Collingwoods. And underneath that, Maxi Gorn in the up the top there. There we go, in uh, the Luminous. Pack number two. What can we get from this pack? Hopefully something decent. We have a little footy heads. I think that's the second Patley. Yep, there he is, Patley, Patley. So it's a sign that Sydney's going to uh, triumph uh, this week, I think. <laughs> I ignored uh, the uh, the packs one one week uh, when I should have. 
I think, yeah, it was the first week of finals when Hawthorne kept popping up. And uh, I should have listened to the cards. All right. Uh, we've another footy heads there. We've got an Archie Perkins. And underneath that, we've got a Charlie Cameron in the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, the cards are speaking to me at the moment. So you got to listen. Open up pack number four. What have we got here? We have, ooh, a uh, stacking port. A leer, a leer. I like that one. I like those ones a lot. Put that one there. You got Liam Baker in the Luminous. I don't want to make a pile over the site, so falling apart over here. Off screen drama. <laughs> All right, last pack of Free Stones. Uh, and then we've got a couple of hobby packs of the Free Stars, I guess. Uh, not exactly the last pack. All right, we've got a Future Force. Uh, Noah Anderson. Very nice. I do love the uh, the, uh, the shine and the effect on that one. And then Ollie Wines from Port. All right. Uh, is that a numbered card? That is not a numbered card. All right. Is that a numbered card? That is not a numbered card. <laughs> All right, so we've got a couple packs of the hobby to finish. Let's see what we can finish on. All right, here we go. Big, oh, we have a premiership predictor for a team that's been knocked out. <laughs> womp womp. Oh, of all the predictors we could have gotten, we've got a predictor for a team that got knocked out. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uh, let's have a look at the number on that one. It is number 37 of 60, so it's a, a very it's, it's a decent one. Um, yeah, unfortunate, isn't it? Very, very unfortunate. All right, we've got one more pack. Let's see what we can get. I think that's my, uh, might be my second predictor of the year. And unfortunately, I think the first one was a, a, a Gold Coast Rising Star or something like that. Yeah, so unfortunate, very unfortunate. All right, going through the second pack. Uh, there we go. We do have another Future Force. Connor McDonald. Uh, I'm not actually, don't know, actually recognise Connor, so uh, we'll have to look into him, see if he's uh, played much this year. And uh, that, that number will be a number as well. Number 125 of 195. So uh, two packs of uh, Hobby G did give us two numbered cards, and I think they are probably the, the two best cards um, of today's opening. <laughs> unfortunate, very unfortunate that we got that one there. Oh, well, we win some, we lose some. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, that was uh, Chips and Rips for the preliminary finals week. Um, I guess I will be back on next week uh, for the grand final show, the very last footy show, uh, the very last, I guess, uh, Tips and Rips for the year. So uh, with that, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, besides that, leave the comments down below. Who's your, who's your tips for this week? Who's your Brownlow tips? Uh, besides that, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week in the grand final show. Cheers.